Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sober Lab, and today will be another video about our clone. And then you're gonna ask, Alan, you already post a lot of videos about our clone, why you want to post another one? And the answer is quite easy, because our clone changed a little bit the setup process, and then a lot of people in my comments ask, Alan, can you update your video in order that I can configure it with this new setup process? And then I decided to post this video, because when I try to set up a new machine, I have a little bit trouble and I need to think a little bit. If you need to do it, I'm sure that the others have the same problem. So in this way, we're gonna show how to configure the Arclone in the 2022 options. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's see how we can do it. Before we start to explain how you can configure it, Google Drive or others cloud in your Arclone, we need to understand what's Arclone. Arclone is an option to sync different types of drives or different of clouds in your local network. In this way, you can make a mount point where you can access that mount point in the way that looks like that you're accessing locally your drive and you can mount it. It's really good if you want to do different applications or extend your data in order to have some part of your data in the cloud and some part of your data local. Other thing that is quite interesting for these options is that you can encrypt your data. If you want a little bit more safety in your data, you can encrypt everything in order that only you with your key can access it. So Google Drive is not the only option that our clone have the option to sync. Our clone have a vast list of uh, cloud systems that you can connect and different options. Not necessarily that you need to connect directly for the cloud, but you can use the web dev, you can use other options that will fit for your needs. But in this video, we'll show how you can connect to the Google Drive. First of all, we're gonna open the Google Drive option. In this option for Google Drive, they show step-by-step step how you can do this configuration. First step, you're gonna do a clone config that will be applicable for all your new clouds that you're gonna add, and that they go step-by-step. Step. But one thing that changed. Before, if you here in the option to say you're using a remote computer or you're not local in that computer, if you say no, they will open a web link where you can only copy that one and pass your web browser and in this way you can connect to your cloud. These options is not the same and they change a little bit. This reason that they suggest you to put yes and that you have access for this IP address. If you look for this port, this port it's a 53682 what they expect. But if you're not local for your machine, how you can access this port? Suppose that you're using a Oracle Cloud VM or you use any VPS that you want to access it, but without have uh, access for this port, you cannot properly access this machine. And in this video, we're gonna show how you can do it using Putin. But uh, let's try to understand and let's show a little bit more about it. First thing, I have my virtual machine. This virtual machine, I just created only for this video. So I come here and look in for this virtual machine, Sauber Lab, and I put my password. And I know the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.202. So in this way, we're gonna open Putty and try to do all the configuration, or at least all the information that we need to add in order to access this virtual machine and do the configuration properly. So with my Putty, first thing I will put the IP address that I want. If you are using an external machine, in any VPS, in the case that you use a VPS, you can do exactly the same step. In my case, we'll put 192.168.1.202, and that I will access that VPS externally. If I come here, now the next step that I need to do is to change the appearance. In my case, I want that everyone see what I'm doing, so we'll put size 24. I come in Arthur, and I add here. What we're gonna use is the tunnel. If you're using a VPS, they will ask for a key, so you need to add your key here. But in my case, I only want to add a tunnel. So I can minimize this one and look. I need to access this specific port. So let's configure this specific port for make a tunnel for myself. So in this way, I will put the source that I'm access is this one. 
and the destination will be local host two dots and the same IP address and I add. So in this way, all the time that I try to local access this IP address, they will make a tunnel for my virtual machine. What will mean that I can access it in my house or extend my house and it will be exactly the same effect. So have everything configured in this way, I can come here and put open. First time that I open, they will ask for accept it. So we'll put accept and I do my looking. Let's open the page and solve the lab. I put my password and now I have access from my machine. First thing, let's clear this page and that we need to install our, our clone. This installation we can access directly in the website for our clone in the section for install. And here they say, if you will use in Linux, you can only run this script. So I copy here and I paste this script and run it. We'll take a few seconds until they finish to install. And once that they finish to install, we can run it. But check, I didn't look in for root. So they don't allow me to do this installation. So the best way it's sudo su. I have my root access. I put city and I clear everything again and I run as root. So in this way, they will allow you to install and will work well. Had everything installed, let's clear this page. And now we're gonna put our clone config. When you do your our clone config the first time, they will show that has not found any our clone config and they will create. Because you're using a root user, they will create in a root location. If you're using your specific user, they will create in your specific user location. But sometimes if you're using a specific user, they can have some problems as a permissions and this one that we want to avoid. We want that our clone have a full permission to run and to mount this one. So it's really better you to install as a root. Have this one, now we put N and we start a new remote. We're gonna put drive. We choose a Google Drive, so it will be drive again. And now they ask for you to have any ID in my case, I will not configure it, but you always can follow these steps and it will show you how can you do this ID. Put enter. What kind of access? In my case, I want to have a full access, so it will be number one. And I put enter again. I don't want to do any extra configuration. If you want to do for any reason, is this is the time, but in my case, I will put no. And now it's the point that um, change. Before, if you go for no, I will show, you could have that uh, link that you can connect. But in this case, they give the Arclone authorization and um, the code. What it means, you need to have another machine that is running Arclone and that you need to add this information. But this one will only work if you have Arclone local in your machine. In my case, I don't have because I'm configuring another machine and don't have in this machine Arclone. So let's stop this installation. Let's clear this page. Let's put our clone config the same way that it was before. And first thing, let's delete this drive that I create. So now we'll start again from zero. I'll we'll put new, I define as a drive. Same thing, drive, because I want to have access for Google Drive. One for full access, no. And now instead of I put no, I will put yes. Once that I put yes, they give me this author key, authorization key and how to access it. So if I come here and copy this information, I can open my web browser and paste it. If you look now, they have access for this web page. If you look now, I have access for this R clone. Why? Because they are doing a tunnel. And now you can configure their clone. If you didn't do that tunnel, they will have no link, they will not find anything. But because we did that tunnel, they will allow me to have uh, access for that uh, specific IP address in my machine. So I select my Google Drive, allowed it, and now they will say successful. So if I come back here, my put, they already permitted to make the login and now it's connect. Now we continue to do the normal configuration. And now I put no because I don't have it in Drive. I put yes because all the configuration is the way that I expect. And now let's clean this page. Now I can really check if my remote has been configured successful. So I'll put our clone ls drive two dots and I put enter. 
In this way, I know which data that's in my Google Drive and it's connected. So in this way, we finish this video because it was exactly what the people start to have problem. They changed a little bit the configuration. They didn't know that they could use the putty to make the tunnel. And with the tunnel, you could configure normally your clone. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.